They came together today from all over the city of Columbus. Our youngest poets and speech writers, kindergartners through high schoolers, all for one common theme, to talk about the dream of Martin Luther King Jr. They took the stage one by one. I have a dream. The words Dr. King eloquently spoke on Wednesday, August 28, 1963, lives on in the hearts and minds of Americans and people around the world who value freedom. Even the youngest minds speaking words of wisdom. We have to work as a team, make strong leaders, and respect each other. In the words of Dr. King, we must learn to live together as brothers, where we will perish together as fools. Brooklyn Barnes is in first grade. When my mommy asked me, who can tell others that violence is not the best way? I said, me. I am a leader, and we need strong leaders in the community to spread the message that the violence must stop. And this second grader telling what Dr. King's message means to her. He wanted black people and white people to have the same rights. So black people wouldn't have to get up on the bus and give white people their seats. Organizers say this friendly competition prepares these young people to be future leaders in the true mission of Dr. King. If we don't know what happened in the past, we won't know where we're going in the future. So this gives them the opportunity to really ingest that and understand it. In their own way and words about what that mission is all about. I can play with you and you can sit by me. No matter our skin corners, my dad is a white, my mom is an Asian. Because of Martin Luther King, I can stand up here and speak to everyone in this room. I have a dream today. And they all have a dream. Dozens, like that little kindergartner there, his name is James Orem, competed today at the King Arts Complex. And though only a few will go on to the statewide contest in April, you could agree that all of them are winners today.